A red heifer like this can bring world peace. You guys ask how? Let's go and see. The Bible teaches us that the key of building the third temple, the house of prayer for all the nations, is by purifying ourselves here on Mount Olives. The Bona Israel Foundation found and bought a plot of land on Mount Olives, overlooking the Temple Mount, and is dedicating it for the Red Heifer Ceremony. This concept sounds crazy, but the truth is even King Solomon, the wisest man on earth, said there is one thing that he cannot explain, and that is the Red Heifer. This ceremony was only performed nine times in the past three and a half thousand years. Can we find this year the 10th and last heifer? We're living in times of redemption. We're living in times where prophecies are becoming a reality. After 2,000 years, the Jewish people have returned to their homeland, and they're now reviving a land that was desolated to a fruitful land, from a place that was primitive to a place that is productive in agriculture and leading in high tech. As history is being written today, Jerusalem, the capital, is being built in front of our own very eyes, leading us to the next step, the building of the third temple. This year in the Jewish calendar, the year is 5,781. And that is Tehesh Nat Parad Duma. The acronym of the Red Heifer year that we're starting to look for. There are five things needed to conduct the Red Heifer ceremony. A priest, the branch of an Azov bush, a cedar tree, and a worm called Tola Chani. All we need now is to find the red heifer. And that's where we're about to go right now. When inspecting a red heifer, there are three components that we need to pay attention to. We're going to go through the hairs and making sure that there's no white or black hairs and that it all has red. Make sure that it does not have any blemishes, no tags in your ears. And the third is that it never worked. That's how we check a red heifer. This is not our mission, this is all of our mission. Find a local farm next to you, speak to friends. Together, we can make this prophecy into reality. And we will together be back in Jerusalem within the coming year for the biggest ceremony in the world history, where God's house will be a house for prayer for all the nations, and peace will be upon the whole world. God bless.